Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel and it is that time of year. It is Christmas. I don't know what it is about Christmas, but I get so happy and excited during this time. But I was just getting ready to wrap my girl's Christmas present. Then I realized, why not just film it at the same time? Let you guys know what I got for my girls. My girls is three and four. I feel like everything that I got is really realistic and affordable because I like to maximize my coin. So everything I got is either from Five Below, Target, Walmart, Marketplace, TJ Max, Marshalls, and I believe that is it. So if you need some ideas or, or if you're just being nosy like I like to be, just keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I got is from Five Below, and I just feel like I had to get this because I just never seen it before. And that is these little bags of fast food. This is what it looks like. And it really just has four squishy things. I'm not gonna open it obviously because this is a gift. And they're just like real squishy items. And I thought this was super cool for $5 at Five Below. And you can see here it says uh, squishy hot sauce. Oh, it says it right here. It says squishy hot sauce, two squishy chickens, and two squishy dipping sauce. The next thing I got is this also for Five Below. Everything I mostly got two in. If I didn't get two, I'll tell you. Um, is this so I got two of these and these are like those magnetic things just for five dollars from five below I mostly got this as a tester pack. I know everyone raves about the magnetic block situation But I kind of feel like my kids would not really be into them and those big sets are kind of more on, on the expensive side So I figured that if I got them this one to see if they like it and they play with it Then I'll actually get the bigger ones. I also seen this from five below and this is a ice cream cone maker. It says it's no batteries needed. It has the cone maker, paper, two paper cups, and two ice molds. But I want to show you, look at the little cups. <laughs> Hilarious, actually. And it got stickers and everything like that. It's like this size. I don't want to pull it out because if I can't get it back in, I'm going to be so sad. This is more like a stocking stuffer. I feel like I have to get this out of the way because it's in the way. And this was only for $1. I got it from Marketplace, I think. Brand new toy. It's just a toy. I don't know. I don't know what it does. I think it just spins in the middle. Now this one, I just got today because I got this and I thought it was so cute. Let me back up look at this this is a baby doll head it's called a natural easter and i actually found this from marshall's in marshall's for 24.99 yes when i seen this i said yes ma'am all of the above 25 dollars i'm happy for it. the disrespect but i'm happy for it look at all that beautiful hair and it's big puffs and it comes with the butterfly, you got hair clips, hair ties, a hairpin, and inside you can see a mirror and a brush. So she comes with a lot of accessories in a pick back there. I don't know if you've seen it. And this is the back of it. And I did grab two of these because when I seen this, I said, ugh. Oh, Yes, ma'am, it says she has 4C hair. Apparently, they have another one with slightly finer hair. But anyway, she is gorgeous. She is beautiful. If you're able to find this in Marshalls, I would say grab it because it is way more expensive anywhere else. Not way more, I'm lying. It's like 30, 35, 40 bucks. I also got this today. And this is uh, something that's probably going to annoy the hell out of me and that I'm probably going to regret. But this was $40 at Sam's Club, and I got this because it had two mics. Now, they do come in pink as well in black, but the reason why I did not get it in pink is because I feel like I want this to be like a long-term type of item, and I didn't want to keep it in pink just in case if they grow out of that color that maybe we can use it for like game nights and stuff like that so we won't feel like we're using a toy if that makes sense so with this one apparently they have one two three four five six different voices they can play with so echo female male chipmunk robot and radio voice it does have bluetooth and audio it does have record and playback does have axillary core and led lights 
and it and it can have batteries all right so this is another toy i got this for two dollars okay i know when i seen this in stores way more expensive but this is the magic mixes mix links and apparently i think you stick them in this little pot or whatever and they stick the wand over them they change colors type of thing something similar to this picture going on to another stocking stuffer is right now they're both very much into bluey this was one dollar i got from a marketplace and this is just bluey so they're very much into bluey right now and they got a bunch of houses if you see my video where i talked about if i'm spoiling my kids i show a lot of the items that i have bought them last christmas so i got this one as well as this little stocking stuffer this is Enchanto. Enchanto. I don't know. And I got another one. This is the Wish character, which they still haven't seen, but she was a chocolate person. And she melanated two million people, so I put it in their stocking stuffers. Another thing that I got for another great deal is this. I got this for $5. In hindsight, I wish I would have got two of these. This is what the inside looks like and it's basically chelsea and i have seen this in target too for like at least 17 dollars on sale so yeah but the reason why i didn't get two of these at the time because i was focused on the other two items that i'm gonna show and i didn't want to spend a lot of money that day although i wasn't spending a lot of money but i'm gonna show you why because my mind was focused on this these two so I got this LOL, is it LOL? Yeah, Royal, Royal B doll. And this is coming off the whole Beyonce thing cause you know I seen the movie, right? And I've been to her concert and I'm on a little beehive high. So when I seen this, I said, oh yes, Beyonce. Okay, Royal B. Don't talk about me cause I can't say that properly. But when I seen her, I was like, yes. So I picked her up immediately. And then I scanned the table. Mind you, I got this at a marketplace as well. And this was only $10, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes I'll go in marketplace and search brand new toys. And then there's a lot of people who, who, who coupons and sell brand new toys. Got this for $10, okay? Then I turn around, I said, do, 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 do. And I turn around and I see her. And baby, okay, do y'all see her? Okay, I don't think, I don't think y'all see her. Look, uh, okay, she's serving. You see her little purse back there? Y'all see her little purse? She is serving. Now, for a size comparison, this is her and her. Now, this is the problem with having girls that are kids that are so close to age and they want the same thing, but then you want to differentiate them and make them feel like they're not necessarily twins and that type of thing. They actually had two of these and two of these. And I was like, I don't want to keep getting them the same as that thing. I want to switch them up. So I was like, well, what if I get the little one, this one, and then the big sis, this one. Although in my heart, I really wanted to grab two of these, but I was like, no, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab this one just in case they want to argue, get something very similar, but in turn, get this one. And then I seen this one. Okay. And I seen her. Look, first of all, outfit check. Okay. Outfit check. Now I feel like y'all wasn't seeing Beyonce one as good. But look at her outfit. Let me let me show y'all the Beyonce one again. Cause I feel like it wasn't focusing. Oh yeah, see it wasn't. So look at her. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And this is the back, by the way. Fierce. So I decided to get two of these, another one. What y'all think? Y'all think I made a good decision? Cause even on here, right, it says, hey sis, hey sis, and she's a little pee. Mm. For me to not have seen Lemonade, I am becoming a stan. 
The next thing I'm a, that's closest to me, I'm not going to be able to show you it to its full capacity yet. I'm so sorry because it is in this wrapper and it's airtight, but I will show you the picture that I got on Amazon of this because it was actually on sale. And put it right here. This is what it's supposed to look like. Basically, it is a sleeping bag with a pillow attached. This is something that I could also have them go to daycare with. It was on sale for $18 a piece. So I had to snap that up. This, oh Jesus, is another item that I seen. And I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. I don't know why, I just felt like I just had to. Rude. So I seen this at TJ Maxx. It's so big, I gotta like step back. It is the, what's the name of this? The Myla the Magical Unicorn. So she has um, six interactive modes. She has a magic brush and a magic palette and the magical transfers from the palette to me with the magical brush. When you put the microphone close to my mouth, I sing. And when you remove it, it's your turn to sing. It comes with hair clips, an accessory, brush, a mic. But you can look it up for yourself. And it was on sale right here for $30. And her hair, I'm gonna push here. But as you can see, did I show y'all the little accessories? I ain't shit, hold on. Yeah, as you see right there, that's the little accessories right there in her little makeup palette. Here's another um, item. I kinda got these because I really wanted to get them like a nail set because recently, they went to a birthday party, their cousin's birthday party, and they had uh, got pampered and got their nails done. They let me know that I could actually start doing their nails and doing little cute things and making them feel cute and little girlies. And that was, I believe, $5, yeah. That was from Five Below. I got these as little activities. I found from Five Below is this. It is a LED hockey puck table. Nothing too deep, but this was $15 at five below. So this was $3 at Target. It was this little thing here, but I thought it was cool because all you do is like twist it into like multiple shapes and all kind of stuff. And I felt like they, they will like stuff like this. Then I got these two little bracelet kit, which was $3 at the Target dollar spot. The next thing I seen at Target, was this doll right here. This was $12 at Target. And obviously I got her because I actually got this prior to getting the second Queen Bee doll. I thought maybe like, oh well, I won't get the other Beyonce looking doll. I'll just get another doll that's similar. And I got this. <sighs> I can't say no, I don't know. I don't know if you know this, well, you probably don't. Basically, I do all my shopping for the year during this time. So all the toys I'm really gonna buy happens right now. I might end up even saving stuff for their birthday because both their birthdays are in February. This other thing that I found at Target Dollar Spot, this was $3. And these are basically, I think coloring books? Are there sticker books? So the stickers are here. Is it color? Wait, where is it? Yeah, so these two little activity color books. So I got two of those and I got this. This was a dollar. This was the night before Christmas book and I feel like I got this because I wanted to maybe have a little tradition um, of reading like this. Right, right the day before Christmas. As a bonus to the situation, I should show y'all what I did get like t a week ago from Five Below because I think it's super dope if y'all can find it. These Avid Calendar, and basically this Avid Calendar, instead of getting your kids chocolate, it's mini stories. So if you open it up here, and this is a Disney one, for each day, there's a little story. 
So for example, like this one, can you see it? They're little storybooks. Like this one is Nemo. So this is a Nemo storybook. You can see like the little story in here. The only thing about it, because it's so small, I do find that they have to, you have to pretty much read through this fast to keep a toddler's attention. But you know, find your ways to make it entertaining. But I thought it was still super dope. So we have Nemo, for example. Here is Monsters Inc, Pinocchio. You know, there's all kind of stuff. Lady and the Tramp, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Toy Story, Lilo and Stitch, Alice in Wonderland, 100 Dalmatians. That's just um, as a bonus. This was $5, and I think that was super dope because every night I have them go to this calendar and pick out a storybook. But uh, um, I do have a really big gift that I was talking about earlier, the one I probably gonna say that is for the birthday, but because it's so big, I see us having to open it and put it up prior to their birthday. But this is the Step 2 Extreme Thrill Roller Coaster. I know that they have the smaller version one, but this one's supposed to be bigger. It's supposed to be for like four and up kind of thing. It's about 30 inches tall, and that doesn't include the car sitting up top. So I would say roughly about 30 maybe even 35 inches tall with the car sitting at the top. So my hopes and thought is that they will want to ride down and obviously in that they're not too big for it. From what I've seen in people's videos, they have older kids that play on this thing. And I got this too because with the electric cars that they have, as you can see right here in this corner, they have those, I do need to get new batteries for them, but I wanted something that they can play with outside, but something that never like kind of dies out. They can just push this up, up, take turns, go down, the other one go up, because in the middle of it, I don't know if you could tell, but in the middle there's steps. So they step up the steps to push it up top, and then they sit down and then they ride down. Another thing that is on its way is this item right here. It's pretty big. So basically it is one of these little surprise dogs with a book bag and accessories. And these accessories, they have a, a bedroom set in the inside. So this is the book bag and they open it up. As you can see, it's like a little bed set. So you can put the doll here and hang the clothes, all kind of stuff. It was just something super cute. And I also got it in this other color. And this one's so cute. In hindsight, I probably should've just got two of these cause this is so pretty. But I got this color and the other color. And this was $30 at TJ Maxx. Another thing that I did get is this also from a marketplace for $10. This is a bluey car, and I only got this bluey car because I got the Chelsea car, and I can see them fighting over it. I had got two of these gigantic squishmallows that was on sale at Target for $14.99. And like I said, I got two of these big girls, and I thought this was also good as a little comforting, because every once in a while, they still battle kind of like sleep regression and that kind of thing. And having something like this for them to squish on, I thought was good. The next thing I got from Timu, and I did get two of these, is this little retro game thing. I got this as an original stock and stuffer. Now, um, I can do a mini review on this at a later time, but this does, as you can hear the clicking, feels cheap, but it does work. I did test it out. As you can see, it does work. Although it, it does feel cheap, it does work. So I think it looks a lot dimmer. Yeah, in person, it looks decent. Like, and this is a toy for them, so, you know. This does work. It says it has 400 games on it. So I'm like, I paid how much for this? I paid, I believe, okay, so I paid 11.48 for this a piece, so 20, Roughly $23 I paid for two of them. Ahead and talk about the second thing that is on its way but not here. And if you've seen these, I'm pretty sure if you've been on TikTok, you have seen this. It's this toy right here. I got two of these for roughly, let's see how much I got these. It says it's $4.27 right now a piece. So 
4.27 and I got two of them as another stock and stir stuffer as well. Sometimes I just be going a little bit crazy and then I don't even know. Another thing that I got for Timu, and I can go ahead and look for the price while we're here. We're talking, let's talk. I got for $58 and that is the Christmas Eve pajamas. And I got four set and this is what they look like. This is my little girls. Mind you, we got four. So I think they were like $10 a piece. So this is the top. It kind of gives me like that spandex-y type of feel. I like shirts like that, but I notice a lot of the Timu Shein type sites usually have this kind of stretchy like material online. It looks like cotton, but it's not really cotton. And this is gonna be our Christmas picture outfit. And these are the pants. Moving on to the next thing, I got them this uh, skating. <laughs> what are they called, skates? Yeah, I end up getting these skates. Uh, my oldest has the purple and they have a blue colored one. I don't have the screen recording of that, but they look like this. And I got this one in particular because it has the bigger wheel in the back. And I thought that this would be a good start for learning balance and just getting the technique of skating. The next thing that Aunt T and them got them is this right here. This is the Osmo. Um, Genius Starter Kit. I saw this a while ago on TikTok and I was like, yeah, definitely. It is an interactive learning set kind of thing. But as you can see, basically the computer or the app will tell you to do something. It pulls up on the mat what if you did the right thing. So I don't know, look it up, but it's a good interactive thing. So I think that is pretty much everything that i got for them for christmas of 2023 i don't know if that's a lot um once i start wrapping stuff up i'll be able to see if it's a lot or if it's good and not good either way i i know that this is good for them and their age range and and the stuff that they're currently into i did get me two big gifts i guess i can kind of show you guys what i got this is oh god I saw this on TikTok and immediately said yes. <laughs> this is the Ninja Creamy Deluxe. I bought a lot of ingredients today, so I do plan on opening this today. <laughs> I also got, and it's too heavy to pick up, I got me a walking pad. <laughs> this is the one that I got, and this is what it looks like. Uh, it's actually still in a box, so that's the reason why I couldn't show you. But yeah, this is all for this video. This is all that I got my girls and I guess myself for um, Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to wrapping because your girl had approximately five days to get it under the tree. Yeah, definitely love you guys. Turn on your post notifications if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.